Hi. Welcome back to the hsebox.com channel. When it comes to keeping workplaces safe and healthy, being proactive is like having a superpower. We call these superhero moves HSE leading indicators. Unlike looking back at what went wrong lagging indicators, these indicators help us look ahead and stop problems before they happen. This video is all about understanding why these leading indicators are so important. We'll give you examples and show you how they're like a guiding star for making workplaces safer and better for everyone. Let's dive into the world of HSE leading indicators and discover why they matter so much. Question number one. What are HSE leading indicators? HSE, health, safety, and environment, leading indicators are proactive metrics that provide insight into the effectiveness of an organization's safety and environmental programs. Unlike lagging indicators, which measure past performance, leading indicators are forward-looking and focus on activities and conditions that can influence future safety outcomes. Question number two. Why are leading indicators important in HSE management? Leading indicators play a crucial role in HSE management because they help organizations identify potential risks and areas for improvement before incidents occur. By monitoring leading indicators, companies can take proactive measures to enhance safety and environmental practices, ultimately preventing accidents and minimizing negative impacts. Question number three. How do leading indicators differ from lagging indicators? Lagging indicators, such as injury rates and incident statistics, provide retrospective information about past events. Leading indicators, on the other hand, are predictive and preventive measures that anticipate potential issues. They focus on activities and conditions that can influence safety performance and guide proactive interventions. Question number four. What are some common examples of HSE leading indicators? Common examples of HSE leading indicators include near-miss reports, safety training participation rates, proactive safety inspections, employee engagement in safety initiatives, and the effectiveness of safety communication channels. These metrics give organizations insights into the proactive measures taken to prevent incidents. Question number five. How can near-miss reporting contribute to leading indicators? Near-miss reporting is a powerful leading indicator as it allows organizations to identify potential hazards and vulnerabilities before they result in actual incidents. Encouraging employees to report near misses fosters a culture of transparency and continuous improvement, enabling organizations to address root causes and prevent future accidents. Question number six. Why is employee engagement a vital leading indicator in HSE? Employee engagement in safety initiatives is a key leading indicator because it reflects the commitment and involvement of the workforce in promoting a safe and healthy work environment. Engaged employees are more likely to adhere to safety protocols, report concerns, and actively contribute to the improvement of safety practices. Question number seven. How can safety training participation rates impact leading indicators? High safety training participation rates indicate a workforce that is well-informed and prepared to handle potential risks. Monitoring the attendance and effectiveness of safety training programs serves as a leading indicator, highlighting the organization's commitment to providing necessary knowledge and skills to employees for accident prevention. Question number eight. In what ways can proactive safety inspections contribute to leading indicators? Proactive safety inspections are leading indicators that involve regular assessments of work areas to identify and address potential hazards. By actively seeking out and correcting unsafe conditions, organizations can prevent incidents before they occur, making safety inspections a valuable tool in HSE management. Question number nine. How does leadership commitment impact HSE leading indicators? Leadership commitment is a crucial leading indicator because it sets the tone for the entire organization. When leaders prioritize and actively participate in safety initiatives, employees are more likely to follow suit. A strong commitment from leadership creates a culture where safety is valued, leading to improved HSE performance. Question number 10. What role does continuous improvement play in HSE leading indicators? Continuous improvement is inherent to leading indicators in HSE management. Organizations that embrace a culture of continuous improvement use leading indicators to identify areas for enhancement, implement changes, and monitor the effectiveness of those changes. This iterative process contributes to the ongoing success of safety and environmental programs. In conclusion, 
HSE leading indicators offer a proactive approach to safety and environmental management, focusing on activities and conditions that influence future outcomes. By understanding the significance of leading indicators and implementing strategies to monitor and improve them, organizations can create safer and more sustainable workplaces. We hope that this video gives you a better understanding of health, safety, and the environment. If you have any queries, please leave a comment, and we would be glad to assist you. Check our website and our channel for more health, safety, and environmental topics. The link is in the description. Never forget health, safety, and environment are everyone's responsibility. Stay safe always. Bye-bye, see you in the next video.